Coach, in instances where the offense kind of has these goals, what do you think is the easiest solution? Is, this, is it just the thing about the shot making, or is it something else? It was a little bit both tonight. Um, missed, obviously, a ton of open shots and shooting that poorly from three hurts and can mask a lot of things. But at the same time, um, when they are switching, you know, you should have some cross matches there. We couldn't take advantage of them, you know, creating shots or even in the post for the most part until a little bit late. But um, that's when we like to get to some more off ball movement instead of just, you know, getting stagnant with the pick and rolls. We're just switching and we're backing out and going one on one. How much did clean in the impact things? Um, obviously huge with the rebounding. I mean, 19 rebounds, zero points, and nine of them were offensive. So he really hurt us there. Um, felt like the initial guys were doing a decent job, but the help wasn't coming. And then, uh, but just as much as that, I think Abdia did as much damage in the in the fourth quarter with how he guarded Alpi in the post. And um, so, yeah, they were both good in their own ways, different ways. Just in terms of the overall half court pace, is that at a place where you, you want to see it improved, or like how do you how do you gauge that right now? Yeah, for sure. I think you know, and that's what the point of switching is to kind of halt your offense, but. We do have some off-ball actions that we got to get better at, and reading the defense is, is instead of kind of guys just floating around or just uh, passing each other, set some screen slips, mix it up, some different uh, looks out of that to to cross to cause some confusion for them, get some cross matches there. But don't think we did a good job of that. And then, like I said, when we did have a mismatch, quote unquote mismatch, our creators couldn't create pass those, or you know, at times they were kind of locking Alpi down in there with the help, and uh, we didn't make shots when he kicked it out. Defensively, they had the 18 threes. They had, I think it was 16 second chance points. Did you feel like you guys had the right amount of focus on the little things at that end of the floor? No, not at all. I, we showed at a half that they had way too many comfortable walk up threes or you know workout shots, and um, we were too low pick up points. And Jeremy Grant's walking into some, um, you know, Sharp's walking into some as well. And so we wanted to increase our pick up points and get into them a little bit better. I think we did that in the third quarter, but a few late. Um, that they got. I don't think our aggressiveness was the same or attentiveness was the same as yesterday and taking them off the three-point line. Um, but yeah, that's a major difference. Obviously, they get 30 more points from the three-point line. And so, didn't do a good job there. Um, and they kicked our ass in all the little areas that you mentioned, the transition, of offensive rebounds, all the areas that we've really been dominating teams. How did you see the last possession where Fred tried to draw the f foul on the three? I don't even know if it was trying to draw a foul on three other than he felt contact and he's, as he's dribbling up. And so for me, it looked like they wrote him off his spot, but um, they were calling touch stuff all night. So I was surprised they didn't call that. Um, but regardless of that, we didn't do a good job in all the other areas, like I said, and didn't really deserve to win uh, due to them out toughing us and uh, out hustling us and being more of the desperate team tonight. Thank you. Thank you.